Hi, Dr. Minkoff here, LifeWorks Wellness Center. Today I want to talk to you about leaky gut. You've probably heard this. It's in the newspapers. It's all over the place. What is this or what's really happening with this? So if you look at our intestine, the purpose of the small intestine is to be able to absorb the nutrients, digest and absorb the nutrients that we eat so that we can supply our body with proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals and we can keep our health going. The intestine is really a very complex organ and on the surface of the intestine there are cells which line the intestine which are supposed to absorb the nutrients. Now the intestinal cell, let's pretend this is an intestinal cell and next to it this is another intestinal cell. The food isn't supposed to pass between the cells. There's actually a kind of a glue, There's a, it's called a tight junction. There's a, these things are like this and nothing is supposed to pass between the cells that line the, the, the small intestine. The food is supposed to be passed through the cell. The cell like takes it up, takes a look at it, makes sure it's okay, pushes it through the other side. Okay. Now this intestine is huge. There's a surface area of around two tennis courts. So it's because there's billions of little folds in there so that there's lots of surface area so that the food can get absorbed. Now, sometimes <clears throat> someone is sensitive to a food. They're gluten sensitive or dairy sensitive or soy or egg or orange juice. Could be a lot of different things. And the sensitivity that occurs is that the glue that holds these cells together breaks down. So that now you have a space or a potential space where food can go through that isn't screened by the cells themselves, that may be undigested, it may be whole proteins that come through that then the immune system is programmed to attack. And this is leaky gut. You have things leaking into your body that your body's not supposed to see. Now, in order to handle this, what you have to do is offending foods have to be avoided. We usually start people on a paleo type diet because most of those foods are non-offenders. And we often do tests on people to see what foods are offenders, what foods are they sensitive to, and we can do big panels on this to see. Like for now, stay off these things. Because these foods cause irritation, they cause the breakdown of this glue. We also have to make sure that there aren't organisms growing in the small intestine. There's a whole thing now in the in the magazines and newspapers about SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. These are bacteria that are in the intestine, they cause inflammation, they cause damage, they are infection, and they can break down the junction between those cells, so now you have a leaky gut. So we have to fix that. So it could be, paras it could be a parasite, it could be H. pylori, it could be an E. coli or Klebsiella, it could be another kind of a parasite, a Giardia, it could be a fungus or multiple of these things. So we have to get those guys out because they're causing the damage. Then we have to give nutrients that will heal up these tight junctions and reseal them. And so we have a nutrient program to do this. For most people, within about three months, their leaky gut is healed. Their bloating, gas, heartburn, sore joints go away because the gut's not leaking anymore, their immune system's not reacting, and their leaky gut is fixed. And then as long as they stay with nutrient-rich foods and not bad stuff, because bad foods, all drugs virtually, cause leaky gut. So we want people off of pharmaceuticals because they cause leaky gut too. So this is how you heal it. This is possible. It's not a big project for most people, and it really makes a difference in their overall health. So if you're suffering from something like this, somebody told you you have a leaky gut, or you have any gut symptoms, you, you're not going to the bathroom every day, you have bloating or gas or heartburn or diarrhea or mucousy stools or bad breath or GERD, these are all signs that your intestine is having a problem and when it's fixed, when it's back to normal, you won't suffer this way. So we can help you call us and come in for an evaluation and uh, we can help you out.